Hello guys, welcome to Obsense. My name is Silvia and I'm obsessed with Sense. Guys, I have a very cool topic for you and I hope you love it as much as I do. I want to talk about some fragrances that I think a black cat energy person would wear. Okay, if you're wondering what is that black cat energy, all around TikTok is this theory right now about the golden retriever energy and the black cat energy. Women are like supposed to shine when they are in their black cat energy. That means that you are the most important person to yourself and you are the one chased. Okay, so you're not chasing because you are perfect the way you are. And if someone is not interested, then you walk away. So that's like, because you're that, you're that self-confident that you do not need any proof, any validation from anybody, okay? You're very self-focused, you're very self-confident, and you completely know your worth. That is a black cat energy. So the scents I chose, I think are perfect for that person that is just very self-confident and just loves herself so, so much. I also wanted to add that a black cat energy is not necessarily an introvert, a mysterious person. It's not, it has nothing to do with the personality of the, of the person, okay? So because I, like, I used to think that because, you know, I'm that extrovert and, you know, I like to be, I'm, I'm very, you know, friendly and things like that, open-minded and just very, you know, outgoing. I thought I was like a golden retriever, but it has nothing to do with that. It's more like that chasing thing. And also the black cat has very feminine sides as well. So it's not like you're super, you know, strong and I do everything and I'm the black cat and everybody just piss off no it's more like a very just it's all about self-worth okay so it's all about that feeling that you're super super happy with yourself and i think these fragrances kind of radiate that i want to start with one that is already empty and i used this as a an office scent i absolutely love this one it's trussardi donna by trussardi guys there was a hype on it. I blind bought this one and I really, really enjoyed it. If you have not tried it yet, if you like musky and clean scents, go and check it out because it also it's very affordable. And this, like the quality of the juice is super niche. Like the bottle is super heavy and the scent is just very very nice and kind of unique it's not like a like a designer scent even though it's actually a designer so it's very musky smooth with some citrus vibes in here and some woods as well it's really really cozy but fresh so cozy fresh i loved like in the morning after you know showering or something if you spritz this on you have the best energy kick and I think it's just a, a scent for a very, very, very confident woman. She's just looking forward to the day. Maybe she has some plans, but also she's kind of, you know, she's kind of allowing surprises to come along. So she's really happy. She just, you know, she, she's just living life. She's just very kind of easygoing as well. This one kind of radiates pureness, clean, cozy vibes and very, very kind of sophisticated, elegant. You're put together. Your life is just, even though there are maybe problems, you just take them with ease. Like it's a challenge. It's not a problem. I do really think that this has kind of that easygoing vibe that is really nice to have. So if you see life like that, I think you're just a very, very beautiful person like internally beautiful person to be around with and to be you know so i think this one is just kind of that vibe another one i think is really feminine but at the same time kind of radiates that self-love that self-worthiness you have for yourself and it's patiala by tamin peregrina by the brand is really like um hyped or was really hyped and this one is a bit more like less in the in the light it's like a very beautiful rose there is aldehydes like in the in the top notes so you have like a very aldehydic rose scent a very smooth and kind of ambery as well very it's not fresh it's kind of more cozy 
very well rounded kind of like that it gives me a very very feminine vibe like on the lines of atomic rose it's just a darker um kind of reserved rose scent it's not in your face and because of that aldehyde it makes it very very special so if you if you like atomic rose and scents like that this one is a very sophisticated and kind of statement maker but it's just not in your face i think atomic rose it's you have like more projection and this one does not need to scream okay because the confident person does not need to scream you're just there and you have like the best energy you're a magnet of miracles and magic that's how i like to feel <laughs> and this one i think is kind of that kind of mysterious as well and more like not as fresh and as white and light as the other one this is a bit more reserved but still very very beautiful a beautiful scent so yeah the perfect black cat energy perfume i think <laughs> is atelier des ors lune feline like the name says it all but also the scent guys is really really good and beautiful i have mentioned it already in my channel I don't even want to spritz it. You have a very dark and very oriental, very spicy vanilla in here, like really spicy. You have a lot of cardamom in here and that makes it very, yeah, just a very spicy, dark, car kind of caramelized vanilla scent. And the caramelized, like the like the sweet side of that, I see more like, like, a, like dates. So kind of very juicy, maybe spiced dates. And it's very dark. It's very mysterious. This is very mysterious, I have to say. But still, like the thing is, you do have a very animalic touch to this to the scent. And I know that so many people do not like the scent at all. So it's not a safe blind buy. But I think like the black cat energy person totally is okay with that. It's okay if somebody does not like you and your scent and you know because you love it and that is what i also really think of the scent like if you have that self-worth like if you're aware of that and it's it's okay if people don't like you you totally dare to wear something that is polarizing you know that may not be crowd pleasing so i think this scent is very much like that it has that very strong animalic touch to it i really really enjoy it but I know that there are people that don't like cannot stand the fragrance itself. But I have received compliments. I feel very, very attractive and sexy when I wear it. So it just like kind of boosts my mood and my confidence when I wear it. Another one that is just very mysterious, but still very sexy and kind of flirty and very feminine as well is Lali Bella by Memo Paris. This one, guys, is just so beautiful for summer nights, for summer evenings, like when it's getting warmer. This one, oh my god! And it's just a very, very central kind of dark vanilla scent. There is also some coconut. You have some woods as well, and some rose. Like it's it's very hard to kind of get all those notes together but to me it's a very creamy because of the coconut a very creamy vanilla with some with some woods i think also patchouli i'm not sure but it's just a very sensual creamy kind of beachy because you have that coconut beachy vibe in here so that's why i really think it's perfect for summer but you have that very very angelic very attractive scent and just you radiate confidence i think with this one you know you smell amazing and of course because you are amazing so very black cat energy thinking and this one really puts me in that mood like i know i smell amazing and also that feminine aspect because you know like the black cat energy is also like embodying a lot of feminine energy and that is like being smooth being just you know, happy about life and having that playfulness also, but setting boundaries. So that's kind of the contrast. You live your best life, but setting your boundaries. So if someone crosses the line, you're like, bye. And that's kind of, you know, all that contrast of 
very sweet and rosy touches, but the very kind of more dark and woody aspects. Um, yeah, definitely a beautiful scent for summer nights. And if you have a date, just wear this and just like lift your confidence even more because I know you're confident. The one that cannot be missing in this video, you know, guys, I love this one. It's Venom Incarnate. We all love it. Well, not everybody, but I really, really, really enjoy this one. It just makes me feel so flirty, so fun and kind of, you know, in the best energy, best mood. But still, if you do not know the scent here, you have a very juicy strawberry, caramelized strawberry with some leather. So again, that contrast, the very playfulness, very flirty vibes and very happy, enjoying life, you know. But with that leather, it's like, hey, I have my boundary. So if you do not respect me, I'm out. So can that kind of that contrast, I absolutely love in the scent. And I just absolutely love this one, guys. Like you can see, like my face just, you know, brightens up when I smell this one because I really, really love the scent. Like just the scent itself, but also how it makes me feel. So very good option for a black cat energy. Because um, as I said, it's not always being just with boundaries and do not touch me. No, it's also very welcoming. You have that welcoming energy around you, but still only if people treat you the way you deserve it. So, okay. So yeah, absolutely must. Another one I think could fit this topic very well. And I know that so many of you guys absolutely love this scent. It's Santal 33 by Le Labo. So I have just this mini, mini, mini sample and I do not even have like a, like the thingy is just like this. So I don't even have like kind of that stripe to test it, if you know what I mean. But anyways, um, this one is a very particular, very, very sandal woody, kind of dry and very fresh scent. It does lean a bit more masculine, like it's very unisex, but it's really mysterious at the same time because if you are very feminine you have that very playful energy i think mixed with this one you make again that kind of contrast because this is more like this to me is not feminine but if you mix it with your feminine energy and with your you know as i said like very playfulness and that very warm-hearted um, just personality if you mix it you have that contrast again so you seem very, very, you know, friendly, nice. So people want to be with you. But with this scent, you kind of are setting your boundaries, okay? You're kind of giving a very interesting contrast and twist to that energy kind of feel. So this one is a very kind of sharp, fresh, like a... I don't know. So mix with that, you know, you're flowing and this is kind of... Kind of, I don't know, setting rules, something like that. I like that, you know, kind of mixed mixed contrasts so yeah definitely i think this could really fit the category let me know guys do you think so too three more left guys so the next one guys absolutely this could be also like the black cat energy perfume like i'm talking about possibilities by la perla you may have watched a lot of videos like the most complimented like the most seductive fragrances this one is always in there like most of the times because it's a very very sexy very central and kind of mysterious scent oh my god i love it i received a compliment from a stranger once like he was like oh my god you smell incredible what is that and i had it on my wrist and he was like please let me know what is that it's incredible so yeah it was this it's a very beautiful rose, a very smooth, smooth rose with some dark and mysterious things going on. Some indolic, mysterious flowers. So you're very, very mysterious, but very, very sexy. Like, you know your worth with this perfume, for sure. This one just amplifies that energy you already have. I absolutely love this one for kind of date nights or nights out or something when you just want to feel very very in your own best energy in your own best black cat energy i think this one is just perfect so very indolic florals but kind of dark florals with a sweet sweet base maybe some amber as well 
and just absolutely stunning this is very creamy and you do have kind of a beachy vibe as well i do get that so very interesting like from the creaminess and from the vibe i think it's kind of kind of like lalibella so that very creamy smooth floral scent with some sweet touches absolutely incredible scent like the hype is so real like for sure and yes, absolutely a recommendation if you want to feel or to amplify your black cat energy. So the next one is very interesting as well. It's not as mysterious, but I think it's very kind of telling you that you have boundaries. And that is O Capital by Diptyque. I really like this. It's a very earthy patchouli rose if you like greedy or for example this one has a similar kind of vintagey vibe so you do have to enjoy that vintagey and kind of retro vibe um but it's just very very elegant and you just you're very present and this one like you are very confident when you wear it it's not hard to like it's not that but it's just a very interesting contrast of that patchouli and that you know rose and kind of watery very earthy and you know that feeling where it just rains and you have that kind of feel in the air mix that feel with you know patchouli and the rose it's very kind of it's hard to describe but it's just a very very beautiful very beautiful scent for a very confident woman so if you want something a bit more complex to your rose scents, this one is very, very nice. And because of that patchouli note in here, this gets a bit more mysterious, but it's not like your oody, super dark, mysterious thing because this is watery. This one is more like lighter, even though you have that earthiness and maybe some spices as well. I really enjoy this one. And as I said, if you like greedy or, or if not, so because they do have that similar vibe because i think people that don't really enjoy gridior don't like that vintagey touch like the patchouli and rose combo and you do get something like that here as well just keep that in mind but i think it's really nice i have received compliments on it and i really like this one for kind of summer nights when you're like somewhere outdoors this one really shines and with the warm wind wow and the last one, guys, this is maybe one of the most mysterious ones. But as I said, the black cat is not always the super mysterious person, okay? But I think this scent has also that contrast. I'm talking about Shanghai Lily by Tom Ford. The contrast, because it's a very oriental, spicy, spicy scent, but you have some redness of the florals, like very beautiful florals and kind of that red touch to it i don't know why i get the color red like very spicy red things going on in here and florals as i said like toasted so this is kind of crazy but i do kind of get smoked petals i just i'm just saying that for the first time but you have the kind of smoky thing going on but it's more from the spices it's not so oody it's not you know it's more like from spices and very kind of incense touches and toasted florals like you do have that indolic floral note in here and i do really really like the scent i think for a summer night as well this is just beautiful because it kind of shines on warm skin but actually like for the whole year it's beautiful i wore this one in winter time i received compliments so i do really love this one let me know guys if you have tried it. I do really recommend this one if you want something very mysterious and more oriental, but not your typical oud scent, you know, nothing too smoky or anything because this one, because of that floral, you know, accents, this one gets very, very beautiful and just shines differently. I absolutely love this one. And I do really think that it embodies that black cat energy perfectly because you have a very mysterious touch to it and you're kind of saying i'm very confident because i know this one is strong i'm making a statement with while wearing this but i don't care i don't care because like i don't need anybody's validation and yeah you you know i'm awesome as well so <laughs> i hope you enjoyed the video guys it was really fun like filming and choosing the perfumes and you know kind of 
integrating that theory of that black cat energy into this perfume video but of course i'm not an expert please do not take this so seriously also the things i said about you know all that uh, energy you are perfect as you are do not worry if you're not like we're all in the process okay guys if you're not always setting boundaries do not judge you you know we're all in the process like i need to learn that as well just just wanted to make this a very fun kind of video we're all you know in this in this journey all together and i thought it was just a very fun thing to do and maybe i'll start a video trend see you in my next video guys bye